This video is sponsored by Squarespace, your one-stop shop for creating and managing your own online brand, but more about that later in the video. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to the Planned Hall. I know it's been like a whole week for you, but it's been five seconds for me and I'm really excited. We're not going to spend any time waiting, so I'm going to get straight into it. Today's haul is generally, anyway, big plants. They are mainly philodendron, so if that's your bag, then you might want to watch. I can see two anthurium? There's one there, I did tell you about that last week. Yeah, there's maybe two anthurium, but the rest of them are all phyllos, and they're quite large. So we're going to get into it. If you haven't seen last week's haul, that has some other stuff in, it's some dark stuff, some variegated stuff, really cute little blend. So if you want to see last week's video, I will link that down below. But let's just get started on some of the big stuff, right, because... I'm really excited. Right, I think the one I'm excited for, I'm going to I'm gonna make you wait for it. Even though he was probably on the thumbnail, because there's no way I'm not putting him on the thumbnail. But I'm going to make you wait for him, so you're going to have to wait. First of all, I'm going to pick up a plant. I'm going to... I'll pick it up and I'll explain. I'll explain the tea. Because I'm really getting ahead of myself. So, this next plant that I am actually holding, you just can't see it. I'm having to hold it, like, right the way down. I fell in love with this plant before I opened my shop in 2019 i think it was something like june like the 23rd or the 25th of june or something like that something like that in 2019 i think i had two of these plants big ones and i sold them and i remember i just opened my shop and i wanted to keep some for me and i didn't because i i was literally like look i'm i've bought this stuff to sell i'm launching the shop I need to sell it. That's the whole point. I cannot be keeping my own stuff that I bought to sell, right? It's a little bit different now because now I have so much of things. I can just, you know, like if I keep one for myself, it won't really be a big deal. But back in the day where I didn't have much stock, it was a big deal. I sent these two plants out and I was devastated, guys. I was devastated that I sent them out. And over the last few years, I've probably told this story before, but over the last few years, I've been trying to get one back because I've wanted one that much. And I haven't wanted a small one. I knew I could get small ones around. I didn't want a small one. I wanted a large one. So I've got one. It is slightly bashed up, but I have high hopes. And I'm going to have to pull him. He's a little bit wonky, but I'm sure we can sort him out. So what is this plant, you ask? It is a philodendron, Esmeraldensi. Now, this might not look like the most impressive plant in the world. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Apologies in advance if I smack my mic with these leaves. I'll try not to. But this plant, guys, I fell in love with this plant. I really did. If I show you this leaf here, you might get an idea of how I felt about him at the time. He's going to be really hard to show you this plant because he's grown in a really weird way. This is just one of his leaves. This is an older leaf. It's... I can't even describe it, you know. I don't know why I'm trying. The leaves are quite rubbery, but they're not super thick. They do get a nice big central vein down the front of them and they do get a lot of dimension i'm going to call it dimension and not texture on the leaves can you see that again i know i'm, I'm kind of butchering this show and tell right now because this plant i mean it literally is all over the place there's the new leaf that got kind of ravaged which is a real real shame but that's him he's all over the place can you see this can you see this here? Yeah, you can. He's kind of all over the place, so I probably will pull him. I mean, he needs to be. I'll have to pull him before I go away on holiday. But he's kind of amazing, is he not? This is more than enough for me, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to grow this guy out. I've been wanting to grow out a longer, bougier philodendron for a while, and I don't feel like I have any. Not really. Obviously, I have melanocrysum on the wall. The only thing I have upstairs that's long is the Glorious. That can get a little bit long, but I don't really have anything that's a bit on the long side. I have things like Philodendron. I think, I've, do I have a Patricia in here? I can't remember. I have hetero, Heterocraspidon. Can't say that. I have a couple of things, but I don't have anything that's a little bit more like, ooh, kind of thing. So I'm really, really happy to have him. I'm so happy about this. I'm so excited about this. So yeah, he's, he's hard to um, even hold up because I'm having to support him at the base here of the plant. And it is genuinely very difficult to do anything about. But this is just his lower leaf. It's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. If I just take him around this way one last time. This is his, not even fully large leaf. That's his slightly larger leaf. Can you see how amazing this plant will be from holding it to my face? He's going to be amazing. He's going to be amazing. He might size down. I don't know. He might not have long been cut. I don't know. Suppliers can do that, can't they? When suppliers sell us plants, it's quite reasonable that they've just cut things and just barely rooted it. And then when we sell things, we have to do it properly. So when things get here, they're probably not established most of the time. And then, of course, you've got roots that 
die off in the meal or whatever. So we'll see how he goes, but isn't he good? It's a shame about this, but it's fine. Honestly, it's fine. If you want to know what he will look like, this is a very, very, very good example of what he will look like. And I'm very, very, very excited about it. So I'll put him down, but I'm very pleased about him. I'm very happy about him. I have to lie all of these flat on the floor, by the way. So he will be lying down like this. There is no other way to do it. So let's pop him down very nice and gently. Down you go, down you go. And we'll pick up another plant. Let's get this one. Hopefully it's drained. No, it has it hell drained. I'm going to be dripping it everywhere, which is not good because my trainers for the gym are very fabricy. And yeah, it's still dripping. It's still dripping. Obviously, these things have been in water overnight to stop them from tanking. This plant kind of has, I'm kind of like trying to look at it off camera. It's kind of took a hit. I'm not going to lie. This one doesn't look amazing, but you will get the idea. You will get the vibe for sure. Are you ready for the next plant? The next plant is, let me hold him up. He's large. I promised you large plants and I, by God, I will deliver. This plant here, I believe is, what is it? Philodendron SP Columbia. So it's nothing, a lot of people would say, oh, it's nothing anything special. It's just a, a philodendron. For me though, it's very similar to a Plowmanii. It's very, very similar. Can you see that down there? Sort of, not really. My fucking feet are absolutely soaked. There is a difference. Obviously, mine is more healthy than this one. I also have a new leaf down here, looking very cute. Can you see him? No, not really. You can't. I'm covering him. So this guy is pretty awesome. I'm going to have to literally straddle this plant. So we have this leaf here, which if you need to know how big it is, this is my head next to him. It's pretty large. Here's my hand as well for reference. Massive, literally like living wall massive. I will turn him round. And we have this one here that's, it's a lot better. You can kind of see what the plant probably did look like. Try and hold him here. Oh, isn't he lovely? Oh, he's really nice. And then back here, it's got a big root ball, by the way, and it's just dripping away. And back here we have a leaf that is clearly going. And, 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 and this one here. But I mean, mainly it's easy to show you these two big ones. So that's what I'm going to do. I can't tell what he is. I, I feel like he's going to be a crawler just from the size he is with petioles like this. That tells me crawler. I can't see in his base, so I'm not going to look. I'd be surprised if he was a climber, you know. Can I feel how long he is? Oh, hang on. Hang on. No, I can feel it. He's really long. Oh, there you go. You see that? There's proof he's a crawler. I was right. Get in. <gasps> he's so red. Look, look how sexy and red he is. Oh, right. You know, it's shit all over me now. That is him. That is Philodendron SP Columbia or Philodendron Columbia. He is a little bit rubbery. I think the Plowmania is thinner. No, you know what? They're about the same. I think the Plowmania is about the same. I think Plowmania is very similar to this. I'm going to give it that. If I had to compare it to something, I would say it was similar to a Plowmania. It's like if you took a Plowmania and flattened the dimension down, I think you'd get him. Do you see what I'm saying? There is some similarities there. There's none of the coloring. Plamani, I tend to get that silver sort of speckling coloring. He doesn't have that, obviously, but he's lovely, isn't he? I have a real thing for philodendron when they reach maturity and their ears change. I have a real thing for it. I don't know what it is. And they've got this lovely mature ear on them. I'm really, really pleased with this. I'm going to put him down because he's actually soaking me. See if I can get the two leaves together just to make this look real cool. There. Oh my God, that is so cool. Can I get a better one? Oh, how cool is that? Right, I am going to put him down now because seriously, I'm in a puddle of water. It's, it's not ideal. If you're looking for an easy way to build and run your own website, then look no further than Squarespace. Squarespace is your one-stop shop to create your own website from the ground up using a selection of stylish and super customizable templates. I love how I can create a really cohesive theme across my website without much effort at all. By using the site styles panel, I can customize how I want all of my fonts and buttons to look across the entire website, as well as the color scheme. So basically any change I make in here is reflected reflected across the whole website instantly. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up a web shop like mine, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it for voiceover, Kaylee. Back to the video. Oh, this is another amazing one as well. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. Right, 
the next one. What is he called? Yeah, okay. So do you remember last week's haul that you saw where I showed you a philodendron squamic hole red? But really, we'll just call it dark form, unless someone else is calling it red. I don't know. But it was very, very dark in color. Well, I have here basically the regular squamic hole. I do believe that's certainly what it says on my tag. And I thought I'd get a big one. Obviously, I mean, this is a video about big house plants, so would you like to see it? It's really cool. Now, it's not too um, triggering, actually, on the stems. The stems are very, very soft. It's not like a serpent's. The hair on the stems is very, very fluffy. It's not that weird, like, plasticky feeling that serpents give you. But if you do like the serpents and you think, right, I wish that was torn down, this might be your plant. This might be your plant. And this is what he looks like. Now, yes, he's all bunched up. He's got that lovely supplier verticality going on. But if I just pull him down, you will see how awesome he is. Let me just, oh, I'm literally, I'm going to have to sweep some of this water out of the way. Look at this guy here. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Show you that leaf there. I will then try, try, and show you this leaf. This one's definitely got bigger. My goodness me, that is amazing. And I'll show you the back of him up close because it's really easy to. So if I come up to the camera, hopefully, oh, it's focusing on a random part of the leaf. I do not appreciate that. Can you see that? Hopefully it will be focusing on the stemmage and all that sort of goodness. Again, you can see some of the fluff from the packaging there at the bottom, but generally that's what he looks like at the back. Philodendron Serpens is a little bit like this. Philodendron Serpens is just, it's got a lot more going on here. And I mean a lot more going on here. I don't even know if I have one anymore. I think I have a really small serpent somewhere. That beautiful big one I have just rotted up really, really bad. I've had the worst luck with serpents since I've moved to this unit. Whereas at the old place, I grew them great. So I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, if you if you think serpents are a little bit much for you, but you, you wish that you could kind of go there and you like it, try this one or a form of this one. As I said before, I had the dark one in that you will now see last week. I'll pick one up. I'll show you the dark form just in case you did miss it. There's the dark. Look at that. Oof. Now, don't get me wrong. I think in, in a lot of senses, the dark form is better, but you can't beat a big aroid, guys. You can't. I'm sorry, you can't. Where's the fun in it if you don't? You know what I mean? Let me put him down. So that's him. That's Philodendron Squamic Hole. Looking really fit. Is he my favorite? No, because I... There's that other one, isn't there, that I haven't showed you yet. I know I'm being really rude making you wait, but I don't care. So he's not my favorite, but he's definitely one of my favorites. He's definitely more my favorite than probably the next one I'm going to show you, actually. But I really quite like him. I don't know what to do with him yet. I might just plant him up as he is and just see if I can get some big ones going. I would love a collection of just really big mothers. So I might do that. We'll see. He's nice, though, isn't he? He's really, really pretty. Do I have a... What do you call it? A sweeping brush because I like honestly I just need to I need to sweep some of this out of the way sorry <laughs> plant chores yeah literally literally I just don't want to slip or anything like that that would be very unfortunate okay I'll show you the one that I'm just I don't know I, I don't hate it or anything I've already got one I think that's probably why I'm less sort of excited about it i've had one for a while and i think i have shown you it so i am going to make this one very quick i'll just show you this there's no way i could even hide this off frame this is ridiculous but this i do believe is anthurium sp marona and these are quite desirable i think if you like things like vitaria folium honestly this one's quite easy i know a lot of the more pendant anthuriums are quite difficult i wouldn't say this is one of them guys i really wouldn't I'm trying to show you this big long one here this is gonna be very very difficult to show you but can you see that Hopefully it's going to at least attempt to focus on something in front. It wants to focus on the leaf back there. Can you see this? I have to like magically get taller. He's really, really nice. He is quite simplistic and he doesn't hang as well as a Anthurium Batari folium or any of the other pendant ones. If I just show you how he hangs. Again, he has been shipped though, so I appreciate that. I mean, this is just silly at this point. They sit a little bit more rigid. So if you guys remember a few videos ago, I showed you Big Bill. They sit a little bit like that. They can drop a bit more, but it's not going to be like, for example, a Batari folium that looks a lot more... Um, like it's got a lot more hang to it and a lot more flexibility. These are a lot more structural, so you may not prefer this one. That's just my basic observation from showing you them. But I quite like them, and as I said, this is my second one, so I do like it. I might sell this one when it's better and keep my current one. I don't know, I haven't decided if I want to just sell a large specimen or prop, but he's got quite a way to go because he's just come in and he's, he's a little bit beaten up. He needs some, 
some TLC. But yeah, that's him. I won't waste too much time on him because honestly, it's difficult to show you him. I can sort of show you that, I guess. So yes, this is Anthurium SP Marona and he's very, very dry up top. I'm going to put him down and try and dust myself off. I'm going to have a slight Anthurium interlude because I promised you in the last video I would show you a Vici I got that was sort of twice as big as the one from the previous video. So I'm going to show you that now real quick, just because he's over here. So this here is my other beachy eye. I will put him next to me. He's quite nice, isn't he? He's really nice. Honestly, I've said it the last time, but I don't understand why more people don't like these plants. They're not very difficult at all, guys. They're not. They're not super glossy either, as you might be able to see. This dries off like a mat. It's almost like, right? It almost looks like the Anthurium version of an Esmeraldense when it's like this, when it's less narrow. I wouldn't describe this one as being stupidly narrow, I don't think. That's a bit wider, I would say, on the ribbing. That's his new leaf, which honestly is quite intact. It's in the middle of hardening off that. That's definitely in the middle of hardening off. Let me try and get this camera to work with me because it never wants to. But that's him. Again, just a super quick tour of him because he is new in and he is rather large. But that's him. Look at this. Honestly, look at this. Oh, hoo -hoo. yes, 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 yes. Yes. Honestly, if you're ever wondering, right, if you're ever thinking to myself, oh, I really want a new plant, but I feel like I've got everything and blah, 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 blah. Seriously, look for a large specimen. You would not believe how much your mind has changed about a plant that you either have owned or you do own until you literally do this and have a larger specimen because that's ridiculous. And I have a VGI, do you know what I mean? But they're just beautiful. You'd be amazed at how quickly your mind can change. Look at this. Ooh, yes, yes, puppy, yes. Right, I'm gonna put him back. Shall we get something heart-shaped? Let's get you a heart shape. I'm probably gonna hold this up and then I'm gonna hold it up again for the next one. But this rather large boy here that I'm bringing in for you is Philodendron Pastazanum White, right? I will, I will let you know where this is going in a moment. I'm gonna have to hold him by that. Can I hold him safely by that? Yeah, I think I can. Again, he's drippy drip dripping. And again, he's fucking huge. Look at this. This is not even funny how large this guy is. He is suffering a little bit on the bottom. We do have some yellowage. Let me just show you there. A little bit of yellowing. Obviously, a little bit of yellowing, a little bit of bashing going on around the corners and stuff like that. These are actually not so bad. This is a reasonably intact leaf here. Not bad though, not bad at all. Again, quite a big chunk as you can probably see. But look, yes. So I'm not going to spend too much time on him. I'm going to show you the other one I've got, which you have seen before on videos. I just decided he wasn't big enough. Okay, I did, I did. So I'm now going to get for you the Philodendron Pastazanum Silver. So this is the white and the other one is the silver. Now, before I pick him up, the difference I can see is that the other one looks more contrasted and a bit more structural. This one looks a little bit more like the whole leaf is a lighter color. Does this make any sense? Probably not. I'm going to get the other plant and I'm going to show you what I kind of mean. Oh God, I hope I can actually do this. This one's beautiful though, guys. Honestly, I'm so, so pleased with this. He's really tall. This might be a struggle. Right, I'm going to be very limited in how much I can move these because I'm having to hold this by the pot, right? Can I show you the two leaves together? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Give me a minute, guys. I will get it. I will get it. Very, very, very difficult. Right, what am I showing you? So this one on the left-hand side of your screen is the white. This one on the right-hand side of the screen is the silver and i think we can probably both agree the silver is a lot nicer now i don't know if this one's just took a hit maybe we need to let it grow in and double check because if i go a little bit closer than that you should see the difference this one does have it does have a lot of coloration and if i show you up close to the lens there it does have a lot of color in it it's just encompassing more of the leaf and this one just looks oh it just looks better doesn't it i think it looks better in real life as well than on camera if i try and rotate I can't really do it, can I? Can you see here all the colors? Still getting dripped on, honestly. You see all the colors there? They look so pretty. I don't know, what do you think? I think that the silver, which is on your right-hand side of the screen, looks a lot better than the white. Let me know. This is why I do this, though. This, this is why I do this. Have you seen the state of me right now? So this is why I get two things that are similar. I like to get both and go, right, which one's worth it? Are they different? What's the tea? That seems to be the tea. This is a very nice plant and I'm not knocking it. And I'd like to see it, you know, in a bit of a better state because arguably this has traveled a lot better. But 
show you that again because that that is hot that is it not but i do find that the silver looks nicer to me than this one this one does not look as good as this one but let me know what you think i'm going to put him down i'll very quickly show you the silver one up close just so he gets his his little moment because i don't want to not give him his moment because he's really pretty isn't he this is the silver up close because i can now sort of hold him a little bit better this is him next to my head so you can see his size he's rather large rather large he's very tall as well if i put his sort of chunk near my hip he's quite tall he's quite a tall boy pastors get like this though i've said this before on videos you may have missed it at some point but the thing with philodendron pastors arnum is you get really long petioles similar to mcdowell and it's probably because this goes into mcdowell it's part of the hybrid but on pastors arnum what you tend to get is really long petioles which you'll either love or hate i don't love it but in the case of this because it looks so pretty i will allow it Makes sense. I prefer to have like a fat leaf and a short petiole. Like Plamanii, for example, back here. They have long petioles, don't get me wrong, but it just feels like there's a better balance sometimes. Whereas this guy, he's he's rather lengthy, is he not? Is he not? So and this has been grown in good conditions, to be honest. I don't think this has grown in bad conditions. But look at the size of this man. That is fucking ridiculous given the size of the leaf on it. So bear that in mind if you're looking for one of these. Um, just an FYI, nothing wrong with the plant, absolutely stunning as you can probably tell. They just go a little bit funky. You're probably asking where mine is, the one that's supposed to be going in the studio. I haven't forgotten about that video by the way, literally just haven't had time. He's down here, I'll, I'll, I'll hold him up in one second, let me just put this one down. The other one that you guys saw me repot is the same dude and he is here by the way, he's still sat in front of the wall. Can you tell how much time I haven't had? And he's starting to lean forward quite nicely. So this is a really established one here. That's him. He's still sat down here with the others. Is it time for the special one yet? I feel like it's got to be time for the special one. Surely. Right. It's time to show you that plant that was on the thumbnail and it's fucking unbelievable. So I'm going to pick that up for you now. I'm so excited about it. This is one of my favorites. This and the Esmeralda Densi are my two probably top favorites in this haul. This one is just, it's just got a bit of X factor to it. I can't, I can't tell you anything else if you clicked on this video it's probably because of the thumbnail so you'll kind of understand what i'm talking about this is the tits let me get this for you and it's funny that i like this as well as the esmeralda nc because this is i believe it is philodendron sp esmeraldas and uh, literally literally let me try and show you this as best i can it's taped at the petiole and i'm probably going to leave it like that for a little bit guys because i don't want it to be like boom and fall so I'm just going to sort of put my hands in between the leaves to show you this plant. It is very much giving me philodendron Bernardo Patsii narrow form. It is very much giving me those vibes. I would I would really compare it to that. Now, I've never had philodendron Bernardo Patsii narrow form. Can't even say it. I really need some food today. I've never had that, but visually, I think it looks like that. This is the tits. Oh my God, this is the tits. I have a thing for long philodendron, right? And not belt-like philodendron, like this, like big long arrows. That's probably my favorite kind of philodendron other than a heart shape. I feel like that's most people's though. I feel like I'm basic in that sense, but seriously, oh, <laughs> tell me that's not amazing. Seriously, obviously elephant in the room. It looks a lot like spiritus, right? It does, it really does. I like this. It's not as thick as Aspiritus, if anybody's felt Aspiritus leaves, either on a TC plant, as in like a small plant, I don't mean specifically TC, but either on a baby plant or an adult plant, you will know how leathery they are. It's not a typical philodendron feeling, they're so much stronger than that. This is more like a typical philodendron feeling, very much so. But I tell you what, have you, oh Jesus, look at this man. This is, this is my favorite, I think. I'm gonna call it my favorite. Even though the Esmeralda Densi is beautiful, I'm so pleased to have it back. See, I mean, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at it. Let me stand back. Look at it. If you wonder how big it is, by the way, this is it against my hip, like that. That is how big it is. It's pretty large. I don't even have words. I don't even have words for how pretty this plant is. I really don't. Oh my God. Don't even have words. It's so, so, so good. For reference, that's my hand on the leaf so you know how big the leaves actually are. <sighs> it's really good. It's really, really, really good. I need some more of these real bad. I'm sure you'll agree. This is incredible. Oh my word. I'm gonna have to make some phone calls. Oh my word. This is beautiful. 
tell me this is beautiful. Oh, literally. Bro, this video is just me gushing over this plant for like five minutes. It's the best thing ever. That is the best thing ever. Oh my lord, look at it. Holy shit. See, even that's a thumbnail. That might be the thumbnail I had abused. I took a different one earlier before I started filming. Oh, I love it. There's not a lot to say about it, guys, other than I love it. I know nothing about it. It looks very spiritusy, I would say, when you get down to here where all the nodes are. Let me show you that there. See, so it, it's it's quite tight on the internodes. I think spiritus is, well, mine is anyway. It's a lot tighter, but it's also younger. But I see a lot of similarities. I'm not even going to lie. This is so similar. Here's the back for anyone wanting to see the back like such. Oh, I tell you what. Honest to God, look at it. Oh, <laughs> this is brilliant. I got to grow this. I just got to grow this. This is incredible. This is incredible. I might have to put this in my house. I might have to put this in my house. This is really, like, I think this is a plant. If someone came in, they'd be like, what is that? It's not spiritus. What is it? It's really pretty. Very taken with it. Let me know what you think of this. Personally, this is my favorite, I think. The, the, by the fact of how much I'm gushing about it on camera, it's it's clear it's my favorite. Let me know what your favorite is. I've covered some pendulous anthurium, which some people like, not all. I've covered quite a few heart shapes. In fact, a lot of heart shapes. Obviously, there's the Esmeralda Densi. There's a really nice big beach. There's other shit down here in a pot that I just haven't the heart to pick up. I've got a really big um, heterocrespidon as well. Um, I have a few things, but... I, I, I can't be here all day. <sighs> Let me know what you think of them. And thank you very much for watching the second half of my plant haul. I've either been on holiday and come back or I'm still on holiday. So wish me a good holiday, I guess, because Lord knows I need it after this year. And if you like this video, please leave a like down below. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button. I have been your host with the most. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you next week. Bye.